Dude, get him. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. He stuck around the bridge. He stuck around the bridge. Oh. Oh my Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to Bearcat Fishing. And today we're out here with Mr. Angie Norby himself. And we're out here at the beautiful cabin in the woods. We haven't been here in a, a quite a time. long time. You know, this is probably one of our main places we like to ice fish. Absolutely phenomenal bluegill place. And um, so yeah, we're here today to try to catch some bluegill and some night crawlers. And hopefully we can put some bluegill on some hooks and catch some bass. We don't know what we're exactly doing. We're just kind of, we're just going to send it basically. So let's even go catch some bluegill to start it off. So yeah, let's get started. Nathan's catching out the first worm here. We're going to see what giant fish. Oh, instantly. Oh, he came off already. <laughs> oh, I got another one. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you got one? <laughs> I got one, dude. doing my intro here. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Look how beautiful this little guy is. That's perfect wow. size for a bait hook. Gosh. That's perfect size. <laughs> Let me catch a huge catfish. Good He's going to be like a 20 man. pound cat. All right, I'm excited. Time to get on some fish. We're going to see what giant fish want to eat these lots. All right, drop him back down right next to the, oh, oh, dang it. <laughs> Instantaneous, dude. Watch my bobber. Oh, he's getting hit. Must be tiny. Oh my gosh, dude, this is dumb. <laughs> oh. Dude, I can't hook him. There we go. Woo, oh. Oh, concussion. Why don't you just kill it, Nathan? <laughs> Josh. You don't want to kill our live bait. <laughs> Why do they look so blue? Come here. They're really blue looking. They're like super blue, like radioactive blue looking. <laughs> wow. All right, we're going to use this guy's bait because he just had a very traumatic, like, meteor strike right there. On a katana hook. Oh, yeah. We're going to be using these bad boys right there. These are so super sharp. sharp super so sharp. sharp. We used them in uh, Table Rock Lake for wacky rigs, and they, they barely had to set the hook, and they were instantly hooked. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait, dude. I hope something huge takes off. Yeah. Alright, guys. So we're going to be using these plastic bottles as bobbers. I'm using that little one. Okay. Yeah. Don't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, What's the best way? We're going to just loop it around like this. <laughs> All right, guys, we got our bobber jug fishing set up. <laughs> Never done this before. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I could see it. All right. And yeet. So, yeah, we're just going to let him swim around for until he catches something, hopefully. Look at that. Perfect. There's a rod holder right there. Uh, we're going to set the drag super loose so that I don't lose my rod. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> did you bring I did, but it might be overkill. Oh my gosh, perfect oh, size bait right there. There we go. I feel more confident with this little dude. Also need to get some for later tonight. Oh yeah. For Charlie. Yeah, <laughs> Nathan caught him another bluegill over here. So, let's see. Oh, that's the perfect size, man. Perfect size for a little hook. We're gonna put him in the water there and get a few on backup. They're just fun to catch. I catch my own bait. <laughs> okay. It's pretty easy. <laughs> they probably don't even need the bobber, honestly. <laughs> Hopefully we can catch a five. I, don't, I know there's some freaking toads in here. That spring was crazy, dude. Oh. Got ourselves a little one. Yeah, Mazingo Lake catfish, you know, yep. some toads. Oh, hooked up. Jeez, they're all like the same size. Come here. They were all tiny over by the walkway there. Really? 
All right, we're gonna go try to catch some smaller ones. See ya. All right, guys, here's the really sketchy bridge for uh, the cabin in the woods. It's very, uh, very old. It did get like flooded here one time and it kind of like leaned like 45 degree angles, but it's all set up now and we're still missing a board. So that's, that's all good fun. Do you really? No way. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> dude. I it As soon as it landed, a big old fish came over and took my whole bobber under, took the whole bluegill off of this. Oh my gosh, oh, dude. I lost him. I don't know why. I'm going to put another knot in here because I think my bobber slid up and down the line. That was so cool. It was the second after it landed. That was nuts. Was it a bigger one or was it a smaller one? That was the big bluegill. That was the big bluegill? I, I set the hook and it was like... <laughs> oh my gosh. It was a giant fish, whatever was on there. I wonder if it was a catfish. Dang. Jeez. Now I gotta catch Let's see. Oh, we got a... What's mine doing over there? That's dang it, dude. They keep stealing my worm off. <laughs> I don't know if you guys just saw that, but I totally just missed a fish. And uh, as the bobber was coming back down in like midair, well, while this was already in the water, it had a fish on before the bobber even like landed in the water. That was crazy. So this is like perfect size bait right there. There's one. Oh, another perfect size bait. Stop the flop. It's like instantaneous, guys. This is awesome. Come here. Let's see if we can double up real quick. Doubled up. <laughs> Instantaneous. More bait, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna catch one more and then probably just gonna do some bass fishing until Charlie and Hunter come. They're for, they uh, fish for the University of Nebraska, the Cornhuskers. So we're gonna go do some catfishing out at, uh, at good old Mzingo Lake. And we're hooked up again with another good size bait. Yeah, stop the flop. And yeah, that's all we're gonna take. All right, I'm gonna cast right by all these other bluegill and see if we can pull them through with this wacky rig. Oh! He stole my wacky rig off. My, my, uh, what was I throwing? The Wanko. All right, guys, this isn't your uh, traditional Sanko style bait right here. This is something called the Wanko. It's the Tightlines UV Wanko. It's a super cool bait. It's got a bunch of whiskers in it, and it gives it a lot of, like, fluttering action when you put it on, like, a wacky, um, a wacky style hook. And, yeah, the whiskers kind of just, like, flutter down with the bait. Whoa. Come here, buddy. Woo! Not a giant. Crushed that bluegill. Woo! Yes! Thanks for grabbing the camera. <laughs> You're we welcome. had it out. We were just filming a little bluegill. And look at that fatty, right dude. Look how fat wow. he is. Wow. You wouldn't think he'd have gone for the bluegill after being so fat, but greedy bass. That is awesome. Number one on the bluegill. We missed that one earlier, and it's kind of been pretty slow until the sun went down. It's been about half an hour. Finally got a bite and crushed that bluegill. That's awesome. He, I don't see the bluegill anywhere, but uh, yeah, that was sweet. Gonna release him now. Gotta go over here off the dock. That'll work. That'll work. What do you think? That one's probably close to three. Probably with how fat he is. Look at that. Go fall in now. See, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Well, 
Well, how, how do you think the night's gonna go, Nordby? I don't know. We caught that one, and we had a hit. Bluegill are super easy to catch, but the bluegill are pretty fun. But we're just out here waiting on them. I'm surprised we haven't hooked into any catfish. You know? Yeah. All we can do is try. There's some like ten pounders. Dude, get them. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. He stuck around the bridge. He stuck around the bridge. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, boat flip or nah? Here, I'll reach down. And, oh. I'll reach down and get him for you over here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Got the giant, guys. Get him. Oh gosh. I'll throw him on back. All right, see ya. Yeah. Oh, what a yeah. toad, dude. Here, here, oh here. my gosh. This pulls in the way. Oh, oh, dude, look at the bluegill. He's still in his stomach. The bluegill. Look at that. In there? Oh, that's so cool. He digested it and was on the hook. Dude, that fish is. Look fine. at it. Look oh, at no the, way! Look at the bluegill in there! Oh my gosh! Oh, His tail's sticking out. I'm gonna get my phone out. I'm that's gonna awesome! See it. It's pretty dark out. This is so cool. Look at this. <laughs> the tail is still sticking out of the bass's throat. That is nuts, Dude, man. that's awesome. Good job. Oh, that's so On the cool. super sharp katana wacky rig hook. Look at this. Look at yeah, that thing, buddy. man. Give me, Give me some. Yes. That was awesome. That's a five. Let me see him. He's he's a freaking toad, yeah, dude. It's a giant. It's a giant. I'll grab the good camera. Tail is barely sticking out of his throat. That's crazy. Guys, he even like here. Hold on, hold on. Go back real quick for half a second. Guys, he keeps inject. Look at that. That's awesome. He's like swallowing it. That's a huge gill, dude. <laughs> dude All right. Yes. Let's let him go. Night fishing with gills with plastic bottles at its finest. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm really surprised we haven't got any cats. See you later, buddy. And there she Are you goes. Mama? Yes. Wow. Give me some. Oh, dude. That's so exciting. Woo! On the left. Right, oh. Get another bluegill. Andrew, Andrew, your cup oh. bottle. Andrew! Get him! Another bite, guys. Oh. Going back over. Oh, yes. Get him. There he is. <laughs> oh, it's just a little guy. Oh, it's a guy. tiny Boy, guy. <laughs> oh my gosh wow this one's only like 14 inches these things are aggressive dude look how fat he is that's why he's so fat super fat super fat see you buddy oh yeet wow right. we're out of time yeah we kind of ran out of daylight we should have started a little earlier but hey we at least caught how many did we catch three all right guys it's getting oh go go <laughs>